Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to February of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind, guys, as this is a general reading, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We are keeping with the format from last month. So the first half of this reading is going to be speaking directly to Pisces rising. The second half of this reading is going to be speaking to the general Pisces collective. So that would be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any other placements that you have within Pisces that you're curious about. Um, and also that's probably the best place for a cross watcher, right? Uh, now keep in mind guys, in the first half of the reading, while I'm speaking to Pisces rising, I will be, uh, working with the astrology and showing you guys a chart, but I am working with sidereal astrology here, true sidereal astrology. All right. So this is not tropical or mainstream. If you're new to sidereal astrology and you're curious, I highly recommend that you stick around and hang out. Yeah. I would be very happy to get you your true sidereal chart free of charge. If you're interested in it, just find my email address in the description box below. Send me an email. Let me know that you are interested in getting your chart. And I would be very happy to send it to you again, free of charge. I am available for uh, private readings uh, and sessions, uh, especially if you want to get like a sidereal reading or a chart analysis, or you want some tarot or you want both. I am available for that. Check the description box below where you'll find my email and a list of some of the options that I offer for personal private readings. Also, if you would like some extra content with me throughout the month, check us out on Patreon. Seriously, Jinx? Do you hear that? That's my cat. Uh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. As always, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Eric. It's wonderful to meet you. Okay. Uh, uh, with all that said, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to let my cat back in and then we'll get started. Hold on. Okay, guys. So we're going to get into this here. Um, and if you are interested, if you just want to like skip to the big old general reading, which by the way, the second half of this reading, the general part of it is non-denominational. So it doesn't matter which type of astrology you are more versed with. It's just going to be a general collective energy pull for the sign of Pisces. Okay. But if you would like to skip to that part, timestamps can be found in the description box and the pin comment below. Pisces rising. Hi Pisces. All right. So we're going to talk about this for you now. Um, key, so last month, the message for you, it felt like you were, um, you were, there was a kind of a clean slate for you. Um, and I'm hearing you're trying to focus on new projects, new ideas. There are brand new energies coming in for you. Um, and I feel like you're in an energy Pisces of really changing your identity or who it is you are in terms of the collective or the world around you. Um, and for this month here, it took me a moment to really to get into the vibe of your energy because again it still feels like there's a pretty clean slate in front of you um but then as i kept reading through it i was picking up on um i was picking up on some energies of it does feel like you're in a moment of like reconditioning yourself or reorganizing yourself i'm hearing also reorganizing your life um but then there's also this there's this sense of massive public uh, recognition here. Hold on just, well, no, let me show you the chart. So this is for Pisces rising for the month of February of 2022. Um, as you can see, Pisces, there's a hell of a lot of energy within your 10th house. You also have the sun and Saturn going conjunct in your 11th house. Um, and Mercury has been retrograde, has been retrograde from your 11th house to your 10th house. Now the 10th house is where we get into public recognition. This is our public image. It's also, um, the role that we play in society, how society or our community or the people around us see us public's perception of you. Um, and also the 10th house is like your career potentially. Right. But with Mercury going retrograde from your 11th house into your 10th house, I feel like this is the energy of you coming to terms with something, I guess, and 
changing your alignment in a way that's going to bring, like I said, massive public recognition. And that was the, um, that was the, that is the title for you this month. Now, just because the, the, the phrase that we're using here is massive public recognition, it doesn't mean that you're going to be like some star, you're going to be famous or anything like that. It's just, it's just the fact that, you know, this house is how people see you, right? The community, how, how you are viewed by the community, your public image in many ways. So there's something about you that's changing and it's going to create a ripple effect. It, it's People are going to be seeing you differently for better or for worse. However, I feel like regardless as to how people react to this Pisces, I feel like it's going to be a good thing for you ultimately because there is a sense here of you getting deeper and or reconnected with your dreams, what it is you truly dream of, what it is you truly wish for. Now, here's the other thing that's really helping to uh, shift this for us. We've had Uranus retrograde. Now, as of February 1st, Uranus is officially direct. Actually, Uranus station direct right after the full moon in January. Well, actually during the full moon, it was starting to station direct. But for you, Pisces, uh, Uranus has been retrograde transiting through Aries, which is helping us to reshape our sense of self, redefine ourselves. And for you, that's been happening in your second house. So that already is going to be, okay. All right. So that already is going to be, um, representing or influencing or catalyzing a change in your values on top of that venus has been retrograde for a hot second and that was helping us to reshape our values as well but what i'm hearing with this uh with uranus having been in your second house here i did just hear loving nurturing and caring for yourself differently now normally the second house doesn't symbolize that uh, your sense of care, of nurturance and, and self-care and everything really kind of st starts in the fourth house. But with, uh, with the second house being your house of values, your personal value system, and also with the energy of it being ruled by Taurus, which you do kind of have Taurus in this house for you, um, there is this sense of loving, caring, and nurturing yourself in a different bet in a different way in a better way and i feel like pisces all of this is helping you well this uh, this is part of the reason why i feel like you're being reconnected with your dreams your sense of desires what it is you truly dream of right with uh, Mercury having started its retrograde motion in your 11th house back to the 10th house in which Mercury was a, is Mercury retrograde has been a time for us to really rewrite the programming right I just feel like this met retrograde motion and coupled with the, the the transit of Uranus here which has been helping us change our personal alignment change our sense of self I just get this feeling that you're really reconnecting with a sense of dreams what it what it is you truly dream of okay okay see now that what's come out here is the two of swords so far and this this might have actually have been something that you've been in denial about for a long time and that's where the fear of this public well that's where this public recognition aspect comes in um and there actually could be a quite a bit of fear involved with this because also the 11th house is not only our wishes and hopes but also potentially our fears and what it is you were reconnecting with or getting in alignment with at this time could have been something that you really have been denying for a long time and then on top of this here for you pisces we do have the sun and saturn conjunction for you well, for all of us, but this is happening for you in your 11th house. And I just feel like the energy of this conjunction between the sun and Saturn for you in your 11th house is putting you in direct association with your true wishes, your true dreams, your hopes, and maybe even your fears. Um... I'm not going to lie to you, Pisces. I'm, I'm feeling through this Sun-Saturn energy for you, and it feels very serious. It feels very serious because, 
I mean, Saturn really wants to help us. Saturn is not an asshole. It's not the asshole that we, <laughs> a lot of the time we make him out to be, but I'm, ha and I'm having trouble putting this into words. It just feels very serious. I guess what I want to say about this is in terms of the hopes and the fears that you're reconnecting with that are ultimately allowing you to reshape your life and get into a better alignment in your life, take that very seriously. Saturn wants you to take that very seriously. Saturn want it, and and Saturn is doing this because he's kind of creating a checkpoint here this month asking you if you're ready checking your work seeing if you've done what is necessary for you to be boosted to the next level come March when we have the conjunction between uh, Mars Venus and Pluto and then also the conjunction between the Sun and Jupiter okay that's the expansion point here so Saturn is kind of creating a checkpoint. And that's why Saturn really wants you to take this very seriously. Because if you really truly want something, you're allowed to have it. You just have to allow yourself to align with it. Don't allow this fear of public recognition to stop you from getting what it is you truly want. I wanna talk more about this Two of Swords energy here before I move any further, yeah? What's this Two of Swords for Pisces? What has this been? What is this Two of Swords for Pisces? Yeah, exactly. It's the Ace, of, it's clarified by the Ace of Swords and Strength. You have known, you've known this. In some cases, I want to say you've known this all along. In other cases, I will say that you know, the the, uh, your, the the retrograde motion of Uranus through Aries has actually helped you uncover this. For some of you, this was very, very, very deeply hidden within you. Uh, for the conditioning is why it was hidden so bad, so deep, you know. But you've known what this was, or at least now you know what this is, but ego has been getting in the way. You have strength with that. That's why there's this denial here. That's why there has been this denial here. Yeah, look, Page of Wands, a brand new tune, a new alignment, speaking differently, showing up differently. The Page of Wands is often, in my, in, in, in my point of view, I see the Page of Wands sometimes as a bit of a midlife crisis. And that's just like a, I mean, it's not, you don't have to be in your like, 50s, 40s, 50s to be having a midlife crisis. It's just a, a phrase, but it's a type of moment or it's a type of energy where, you know, you're making a drastic change to your life or you're showing up in a different way. You have a new alignment. You have a new story to tell. You have a new song to sing. And that's what you have going on here for you, Pisces. That's what this page of wands represents. At the bottom of the deck right now, you do have, you do have death to the sun. Okay, the sun is not dying, but death <laughs> and the sun. There is a realization here that you can no longer live in the current circumstances that you have been. We are moving forward here and you deserve a chance to be happy, Pisces. So really allow yourself to reconnect with or to build a connection, a greater connection with what it is you truly dream of. 11th house energies, okay? Let's go back to the chart. And let's talk about also, I want to talk about the 12th house for you um, because both of your planets that are associated with you, Jupiter and Neptune, are in your 12th house right now. And Neptune happens to be in your sign, in his home sign of Pisces. And I feel like while the 12th house is ruled by Pisces, you have some 12th house, I'm sorry, some Piscean energy in the 12th house for you. You also have Neptune in its home sign, in your sign of Pisces, in the 12th house, this all feels like it is putting you in deeper or closer connection with yourself, with your true self. And there is a sense here, you guys, of, of divine perf perfection because the 12th house is often, by some astrologers, the 12th house is associated or is said that it's the house of God. It's the house of deep, 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 deep spiritual spirituality. Okay, it's 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 very much 
the house of perfection, but perfection on a spiritual level, perfection in the, in the way of, or in the form of the fact that the universe created you or God source creator created you a certain way you, and you are a perfect divine being in that sense. Okay. So there is something about you that is needing to come out that is wanting to emerge. There is a truth that you are wanting to or trying to or maybe have been have been trying to express and it needs to be set free. You need to allow yourself to be exactly who it is you are. That's really the best way you're going to find this true sense of happiness, right? Now, I understand that's coming with some challenges for you, Pisces, because of all of this 10th house energy. When this or if this should come to the surface, you should start expressing this. It's going to change the way people see you. Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. I guess let them decide. But also, if you're expressing this new part of you and it's in divine alignment with you and it makes you happy... It fills you with joy. It fills you with a sense of peace. Then quite honestly and quite frankly, if people around you start to see you differently and some, t some, and some start to fall off or you lose anybody, don't worry about it because you're still happy. At the end of the day, you can go home, you can get into bed at night and you can rest easy because you are happy. The sun and death change and transformation this is a good thing this is a beautiful thing there is a bright opportunity ahead of you a new life is in store for you pisces now at the bottom this is at the bottom of the deck underneath this is the five of cups to the queen of cups okay all right i understand that you're gonna have to allow yourself to go through the mourning period you're gonna have to allow yourself to to grieve to really feel what it is you're feeling it's not so hard for you pisces right Maybe in some cases it is, but that's okay though. Allow yourself to go through that grieving process, yes? Okay, um, let's see. That's really all I have for the notes that I've written down here. Let's just, um, let's just pull some more cards and get some more messages for you, Pisces. Pisces rising, yeah? Anything else? So what else do we have for Pisces rising here for the month of February? Page of Swords. First thing I heard is someone is watching you or maybe you are watching someone else. But also Pisces, I kind of feel like this is you in a sense because you're trying to you're trying to learn. You're trying to figure something out. You're trying to understand something. You're trying to come to terms with something. Yes, I definitely get that. Trying to come to terms with the fact that these changes are these certain changes are necessary. Some of you are honestly being inquisitive. Some of you are trying to argue your way out of it. I just heard bargaining. So what is it? The certain stages of grief. Bargaining is one of them. Okay. But then you have, with this, you have the nine of cups. Okay. Some of you are actually trying to bargain with the universe or something in terms of being allowed to stay in your comfort zone. What you need to understand, Pisces, is that you are not being punished or th 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 there is no real form of punishment here. So even though Saturn may be, you know, being a little bit of a hard ass right now, okay, this month and kind of creating this checkpoint coming at you when the sun conjuncts with Saturn, coming at you saying, checking your work, right? Let me see what you've done. Have you gotten into have you made the proper, uh, um, taken the proper actions, made the proper preparations or adjustments in order for you to either be in this new alignment or to start to get into this new alignment, right? He's being a little hard, a bit of a hard ass about this, but he's not trying to punish you. He's not looking to punish you. He's doing this because he wants to make sure you're ready for the next level that the universe wants to, to move you into. So yeah, this is a little serious for you. And again, well, I should say, should you not line up or should you not have been able to do or get into the right 
position for you to line up with the next level, you're going to kind of be stuck where you are. But understand, Pisces, that's not a form of punishment. I understand you might look at it like, or it might feel like you're being punished or being left behind, but that's not the case. It's literally just at this moment for this checkpoint, you just weren't quite there yet. And that's okay. You're going to have another chance to get there. But some of you are kind of bargaining. <laughs> Page of swords, nine of cups. Some of you are kind of trying to bargain, bargain or argue with the universe saying, why can't I just stay in my comfort zone? Because your comfort zone isn't giving you, providing you with what it is you truly want, Pisces. Anything else for this? What do you want to say to Pisces for this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see? All right, what you have here now, Pisces, is the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. And then overall energy is we're back to the Queen of Cups here. Okay. Queen of Cups, back to the Two of Swords and Strength. And the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. So all of that came out in the beginning, right? Um, instead of fighting with the universe and bargaining with the universe, trying to bargain with the universe, what you really need to be doing is taking a moment to fight for emotional clarity. Knight of Swords is definitely an image of an individual riding into battle. But, but this battle type energy would be way more benefic beneficially placed in your life, Pisces, if you direct it at the confusion or the options that you have in front of you or that... Or, <laughs> or maybe the options that you're trying to keep in front of you. You gotta feel through that, Pisces. Queen of Cups. And you need to ask yourself, do I really want this? Is this really beneficial for me? Why am I trying to hold on to this? How does this make me feel? Instead of allowing yourself to be drowned in your emotions or your feelings, feel through them, understand them so that you can clear them up so that you can, instead of finding a way to stay in your comfort zone, you can actually find a way to be truly content. Page of Swords, Nine of Cups, okay? I don't wanna scare you guys. I know some of you are already kind of frightened by this. I don't want you to be afraid. I'm not trying to scare you. Um, we really, the universe is saying this very, very clearly. We really just want you to be happy, Pisces. And you can't do that. You can't have access to that happiness if you don't allow yourself to be real with who you are and trust yourself, I'm hearing also, right? You can't, you're not really ever going to be fully happy until you allow yourself to accept what it is you really want and accept who it is you truly are because you are a perfect divine being in the eyes of God source creator. Sure, we're here to work on ourselves in this lifetime, but everybody's doing that. We're all just here in the process of ascending, right? But at the core of your being, the person that you are, that you were born as, the person that you were born to be, the, the being, the divine being that you were born to be is in fact perfect. And that gem uh, is allowed, should be allowed to be seen, to shine, to be seen, felt and heard even, okay? This could be very exciting for you, Pisces. It does kind of feel, it does, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, Pisces, it does kind of feel exciting because there's something brand new coming to you, something that you have always wanted, something that you have always dreamt of, but never really fully allowed yourself to have. You have this moment to, to at least get in alignment with it or start to get into alignment with it. And I want to make sure that I'm clear about this one point. You don't have to be fully ready by the time the sun conjuncts with Saturn. First of all, you know, that's an energetic gateway. You, 
you know, energy is fluid. But really, the, what I've been channeling here in terms of this, what Saturn has been saying to us is, as long as you're doing the work, as long as you're taking the steps, however, slowly, whatever, slow but steady wins the race. Okay, great. As long as you're taking the steps to get there, you'll be in alignment. Don't worry about the timing so much. Just focus on getting into the energetic alignment. That's all. Okay. All right. Let's close out this part of the reading here. I want to get some Oracle guidance for you from the magic unicorn Oracle. And then I'm going to move on to the second half of this reading. Yeah. All right. Three shuffles here. One closing energetic Oracle guidance for my Pisces rising for February, 2022. That's two. And this is three. All right, Pisces, what have we got for you? What closing oracle guidance do we have for you, Pisces? For the month of February. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I was just saying this, too. You remember how I just said, you know, at the core of your being, you're a beautiful, perfect being, and the gem of that desires or should be allowed to be seen, felt, and heard? overall energy in your closing oracle guidance is card number 30 cosmic diamond spread hope and joy illuminate the world allow the diamond of your soul of your true self to be honored by allowing it to shine in its fullest brilliance yeah you have three other cards here card number 29 mahatma energy Build your light body. Accelerate your ascension. Card number 21, Magical Crystal Cave. Switch on your inner light. Bring forward your gifts. Time to wake up. And finally, card number 19, Cocoon of White Light. Rest in perfect love. Understand oneness. And with all of this influence here in the 12th house for you, let me show you that real quick, okay? The 12th house and also the energy of Pisces is all about oneness, unity, collective, oneness. We are all one. And together we all shine as the individual, beautiful, perfect diamond beings that we are. And together, when we all allow our true inner light to shine, it becomes this beautiful mosaic. But you can't have that beautiful mosaic if everybody's trying to be cookie cutter and shine the same way or shine the same light. No, baby. You have your own unique light that you need to share with the world please allow yourself to do that. Okay. I love you. I'm going to pause for a moment, collect myself, regroup, and then we're going to get into the uh, non-denominational general side of this reading. Yeah. Stay tuned. Hey there, guys. All right. So welcome to the second half of this reading. This is the non-denominational nominational non-denominational side, right? So regardless as to whichever form of astrology you ascribe to, it doesn't matter. This is for any placement within Pisces that you have. Of course, mainly sun, moon, sun, moon, and rising, although we just did the rising, official rising side of this, but sun, moon, rising, Venus, any other placement that you have in Pisces um, that you're curious about. Also, this could be a place for the cross watcher. Um, so with that said, keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? We're going to get into the Tarot here. Five shuffles from a Piscean for the month of February 2022. This is one. Two. For Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces? What's going on for Pisces this month? Three. This is four. Piscean Collective. This is five. All right, Pisces. Let's get into this. What messages do we have for Pisces, please, Spirit, for February of 2022? Green. And I heard, turn on your heart light. 
activate your heart chakra. Some of you may actually be going through an, a heart chakra activation. That makes perfect sense. It falls in direct alignment with what we discussed for Pisces rising. If you are interested, if you're curious, especially if you're a Pisces sun or moon, you could watch the rising sign. I mean, it could still be relevant to you. It's just that the exact placements of the planets changes with the rising sign. Like that, that's what sets the rising sign sets where things are in the chart, right? But the energy that I channeled and the message that I channeled there could still be relevant for you. Yeah. So if you're curious, check it out, but green, turn on your heart center, turn on your heart light. Some of you are, some of you are, um, the energy that I'm feeling for Pisces this month is, or I, what I've been feeling for Pisces is that you are, you have a chance to reconnect or get connected fully with something that it is you truly dream of, something that you've truly wished for, but haven't allowed yourself to accept or go after. And spirit, the universe is really kind of guiding you to here to get connected with that and get in alignment with it so that you can receive it. However, the caveat here is that it could change or it's very well will change how people see you and i just heard and that is a good thing because maybe if this changes things enough where people start to like disconnect from you or something then that is a sign that those were never really your people to begin with those were false alignments because you were not really fully in alignment with what it is you truly wanted you were in alignment with something else something that you thought you needed to go after or whatever and that puts you in alignment with some of these false associations, people that really aren't for you, people that really aren't your, your tribe or your people or your crew, you know? Turn on your heart center, turn on your heart light, get connected with the truth of your heart, what it is you truly want. Some of you are absolutely going through a, a, a level of heart chakra activation here, okay? What do we got for Pisces? What messages do we wanna send to Pisces for the month of February? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. If so, if you're vibing with this already, even though, even if you're not a Pisces rising, go check that Pisces rising reading. Because what we have here at the overall energy right now is the nine of cups. And that's what we, that was a main focus for the Pisces rising section of this reading. Um, and so, and for many of you here, this nine of cups doesn't actually represent you being fully content or having some sort of wish fulfillment like it would normally represent. In this situation, it represents a level of a comfort zone. Well, it, okay, it represents both. But what I feel like right now is like you are facing having to come out of a comfort zone energy, but that's so that you can actually get into alignment. Wow. So that you can actually get into alignment with what it is you truly dream of. Oh my God, Pisces. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Swords, which also came out in the Pisces Rising section, and the Star. So this is literally about getting very clear. King of Swords and Knight of Cups are the energies that came out on the table here. Getting very clear about what is truly within your heart. What do you truly desire? The Knight of Cups for me as a reader, it represents that heart center. Moving forward, yes, Knights move forward. In terms of the Knight of Cups, moving forward with what your tr heart truly calls for. Get very clear on that, Air. I just wanted to say Aries. Why did I want to say Aries? Are you an Aries cross-watching for a Pisces? <laughs> or maybe you have an Aries placement. But anyway, Pisces, get very clear on what it is your heart is asking for, what your heart is guiding you for, and that will allow you to come out of this comfort zone and get in tune with what it is you truly wish for, you truly dream of, and then that'll put you in a much more content on an everyday level, Nine of Cups energy. I feel like the Nine of Cups is that that mundane, everyday sense of contentment, sense of feeling good. It's that type of energy where, and this is something I said for Pisces Rising, it's that type of energy where, regardless as to what everyone else has to say about it, you know that at the end of the day, 
you can you can rest easy at night you can sleep well at night because you feel fulfilled you feel happy and content that's the nine that's the the, the form of the nine of cups here that we truly want you to get into says spirit not this comfort zone not feeling good or content because you know and safe because everyone around you accepts of or approves of who it is you are or what it is you present to them blah 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 no no it's not about that it's about what you truly want, what truly makes you happy, what truly makes you feel content. Get very clear on that, Pisces, King of Swords. Also, the King of Swords represents Aquarian energy and Jupiter, one of your ruling planets, is in fact in Aquarius right now. So if you haven't seen it yet, I direct you to the Jupiter in Aquarius live stream that I did in my channel back on my channel back in January. It's one of my live streams. Just go to the live stream tag on my table, on my, on my tab <laughs> in my channel, um, and you'll see it. Jupiter in Aquarius. Pay very close attention to your inner child, Pisces, because your inner child knows what it wants or knows what you want and knows how to get you out of the mess you may find yourself in. Or let's say this in not such an extreme way, get you out of the uh, conditioning or the alignment that you currently find yourself in. Pay very close attention to your inner child. Your inner child will get you out of there. So go back and watch that Jupiter in Aquarius reading, okay? And see how that resonates for you. What else do we have for Pisces at this time, please, Spirit? What else do we have for Pisces at this time? Oh, well, then... All right, we're going to talk about this then. There's that four of cups showing up for you. Oh, Pisces, I love you. I love you so much. I just want to give you the biggest hug ever. Because this four of cups feels both reluctance to get started in the new but also feels like reluctance to even stay in the position that you're in. Ooh. Four of Cups. What do we, what's this Four of Cups for Pisces? What do you want to say about this Four of Cups to be spirit? This one too. For some of you, this has to do with love. <laughs> And if that's the case, I just heard your divine partner is waiting in the wings for you. Overall energy here is the lovers. But also, the lovers would represent the divine alignment within yourself. The union between the masculine and the feminine, which actually is happening in February. If you haven't done so already, check out my February live stream where I, I go live and I went live and I spoke to the collective just about the general energies for February. But right around Valentine's Day, Mars and Venus go conjunct. So this is very much a year of union, right? But if you're going to be in divine alignment with a partner, you've got to be in alignment yourself first. And so that means really healing yourself on this emotional level overall energy underneath the lovers is the eight of cups to the king of cups to the ten of wands to the hermit oh my goodness pisces yes you are needing to be a stand-up individual right now and honor the truth of who you are or honor the truth of what it is you truly want what does this divine alignment within you say what does it what is it leading you to walk away from we know that's not easy pisces but it's also the right thing to do king of cups because you need to put down these burdens ten of wands and allow your inner light to shine the hermit the truth of who you are needs to be seen wants to be seen felt and heard deserves the right to have that now in terms of this four of cups energy here What's come out to clarify it? The moon with the two of swords and the two of swords in reverse. The two of swords is another energy that came out in the live, in the, uh, the Pisces rising section of this reading. But what this is saying for you here, Pisces, is you need to put down the resistance and allow yourself to see what the moon is trying to reveal or what is, what is, what is hidden here. 
that is trying to be revealed to you even though the moon can represent dece or yeah represent deception and being unable to see clearly blah 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 whatnot whatever the moon also does reveal but it reveals what was hidden underneath the surface it also reveals the truth of your feelings hmm what is this two can we talk can you what do you have want to say about this two of swords what can we say to this two of swords here Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. There is a very real feeling here, Pisces, of of public recognition of your true wants, desires and needs and wishes. And you've been in denial. You've been avoiding this. You've been pushing this away. But at this time, spirit is saying for you, it's time to stand up the emperor and take control of your life. Take action in your life. Do what it is you are truly meant to do or do what it is you really feel you want to do. And don't take no for an answer. Don't allow anyone to tell you you can't. And again, if there are people that fall off the bandwagon here, so be it. Good riddance. Now you have more space for individuals that do truly align with this, with you, with who you truly are. But the emperor doesn't allow people to tell him he can or cannot do something. No, the emperor is in control. The emperor is the authority of his or her own life. Ain't nobody gonna tell him shit, <laughs> okay? Overall energy with this is the Queen of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Focus on what it is you truly feel. Recognize where things have not been working, how you're not receiving the actual fruits that or, or harvest that you desire, Seven of Pentacles. And that will allow you to plant a new seed, Ace of Pentacles. That will allow you to receive a new reality. But you have to be accepting of this first, and you have to allow yourself to be the master of your own reality, to be the emperor, to be the CEO of your own life. No, Pisces, this is not easy. I understand that. I understand that. But quite frankly, it's your life to live. So why would you let society or other people tell you who it is you should or shouldn't be? Because that's not the truth of who you are. You are a perfect divine being just the way the universe, God source creator made you. Give yourself the love and the self-respect to allow that to shine. Okay. I'm going to get some closing Oracle guidance for you from the Oracle of the seven energies. Yes. Here we go. Five shuffles here. One, two, three, oops, three, four, and five. All right, Pisces, so what's your closing oracle guidance for the month of February 2022? Ugh. You guys, I really, I can't make it up, and I'm not making it up. Those of you who know me, you know I'm connected. You know I'm channeling here. But look, Oracle guidance here for you is card number eight. Into me I see. And the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is healing the heart. That green heart chakra energy. You're going through a heart chakra activation. Get connected to truly what is within your heart and heal so that you can express it, so that you can be happy, 
so that you can have all of the things that you dream of, that you desire. But you have got to see into the real truth of who you are and what it is you want first. Into me I see, King of Swords, Knight of Cups. Allow yourself to express fully the truth of who it is you are. You deserve this, Pisces. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. Not in the typical sense of, well, I'll only love you if you do this or if you align this way. No. You deserve to be loved for who you truly are. And the divine, the universe, spirit wants to help you get there and is going to be there with you every step of the way. Other humans might abandon you, but God source creator never will. I might start crying. Never will and never has. We have always been there with you every step of the way, and we are going to continue to be there for you. Holy shit. Ooh. I can't tell if that just hit y'all some type of way or if that's just the emotion that spirit is putting through here, but man. That's, oof. <sighs> All right, Pisces, I'm gonna leave it there. I love you guys so fucking much. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, again, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below along with my email. Just shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested. I would love to facilitate that for you. Also, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of great stuff over there. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Pisces, I hope you have an absolutely beautifully fantastic month. I am sending you all of the love in the world, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March. Yeah? Spoiler alert, divine union is upon you. Take care. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.